Welcome to the support videos for workload automation. In this video, we're going to learn about the new connection profile types in Control M AFT8. In Control M for Advanced File Transfer version 8, a new feature was introduced that allows connection profiles to have only one host defined. In previous versions, both hosts had to be defined for each connection profile. There are several benefits of having a connection profile with only one host. The host doesn't have to be redefined for each connection, only chosen in the job definition. Also, if any of the connection information changes, such as a password, it only has to be updated in one location. So if you have 10 machines that are used for FTP transfers, you may not need up to 45 connection profiles to define all those connections. If a password's changed, you might need to update up to 10 profiles. With the new method, you would only need to define 10 connection profiles and update the connection information in one place. Let's start with how to set up the connection profile. In the Configuration Manager, select the Agent and the CM for AFT, then right-click and select Connection Profile Management. We will now define two new connection profiles, one with one host each. So we select the plus button, the connection profile name. The new feature is we have a new connection profile type. We can do file transfer endpoint to endpoint or file transfer endpoint. The endpoint 1 to endpoint 2 is the same thing that we've had in previous versions. File transfer endpoint will only put one endpoint. So the host name. All the rest of these panels are very similar to what you used to seeing. And we'll fill out the information, hit Next, and we'll finish. It'll write this information to the agent. It was added successfully. We'll add a second endpoint. Uh, we'll make this one an endpoint also. Fill out the information here. And then finish. We'll write this one to the agent. Now that that's in there, we can close this and we can go to the workload automation GUI. I've opened up a job here. We'll double click on it. And when we go to connection profile, we select the connection and we have an option here, endpoint one, endpoint two. We don't have any of those set up, but we do have two single endpoints set up. And on the profile host one, we'll select ftp.bmc and connection profile two, FTP Amazon, you hit OK, and you see the plus sign in here. Here's our information for our FTP. Scroll down a little bit, and you notice that it put in the ftp.bmc.com and ftp.amazon.com. That's how you set it up. That's how you use it in a job. Thank you for your time. The Workload Automation Support Team looks forward to helping you should you need our assistance.